hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl celia here again um thank you so much for all the support all the likes and all the comments on my previous videos if you're new on my channel i say welcome to this beautiful channel <laughs> Right, so um, today's vlog is just all about story time. Um, it's all about ranting, a little bit of complaints, and you know, here and there. Um, and that's just what this video is all about today. It's been two weeks um, since we landed in Canada, and I must confess, it's really beautiful in Canada. Um, yes, I miss Glasgow. I miss my friends. I miss every single person, um, you know, that's been with me on this journey. But ever since I've landed in Canada, it's been, you know, it's been beautiful. It's been, you know, it's been welcoming. I feel like I'm home now and I'm so, so thankful for family. And I'm also, you know, thankful for the friends that I have here has made this um landing in canada really really you know good for us for me and my family um basically my son is adapting well i would say that the first week that i got here i really got ill i don't know i think it's the change of environment but i was a little bit down so back to what today's vlog is going to be all about so if you could remember the last time in one of my videos i made a video saying that i was going to be sending my stuff through dhl which i did and it went so well you know the sending process even though it was a little bit stressful it went so well you know we sent everything and we were assured that every single thing was going to come um you know at the same time there was not going to be a delay in fact i asked the guy and he told me in a day two or three we should be able to receive the package in canada when we landed like i said the first thing i did was upon landing we went to customs um to clear ourselves you know of course to let them know that we're just immigrating to canada we had our passport stamped and we had our copr stamped we also you know spoke to the lady who asked where we wanted our C um pr card to be sent to we gave her the address and from there she proceeded to ask if we had any goods that was going to be coming at a later date to which we informed that that yes we had some of our personal belongings still coming via dhl and i asked her where i was supposed to proceed to she informed me that i was just supposed to go to cbsa which was very close to where the customs were so i proceeded to cbsa with the um you know the web bill document that i got from dhl i the guy asked me in total how much i felt that all the value or the total package was going to you know cost and i informed them how much all the personal belongings that i had in the box that I was sending i told him how much it was going to cost in which after he finished he proceeded to give me he gave me, he proceeded and he gave me um, a little blue document um, to inform me that anytime DHL asks me to pay any amount, this is the document that I'm going to show to DHL so that that can ex exempt me from paying customs. That went well, you know. We finished there, we went to clear our bags and we went out of the airport. Back to, you know, waiting for my luggage. I started tracking my package and I found out that the first day that I tracked it, I saw that, okay, it was already in Canada, but it says that shipment was on hold. I was a little bit confused as I was wondering that why would my DHL package be on hold when I was told that, you know, it's already cleared through customs. So what I did was I started looking for a telephone number to call through to DHL to see what was happening with my package. And fortunately, I got a telephone number and I was able to speak to one of their agents. In fact, I think I went on Twitter and I sent them a DM on Twitter. They responded quite fast. And the agent told me that I could call this telephone number or I could email. Um, she also gave me an email. So what I did was the next day I called the number and I explained to the guy over the telephone. The guy then further explained that he could see my package but he saw that the package was on hold due to the fact that i needed to pay some sum and i'm like 
some some i don't understand i thought that i was cleared so i went all over explaining to him that i had already gotten a form from cbsa i had already cleared myself at the customs when I landed to declare that I had goods coming into Canada and um, this was um, the receipt and all of that I showed them at the point of entry so the guy said you know what you are not actually paying any customs what you are just meant to pay is just a um, brokerage fee which I said okay no problem I needed my stuff so I said no problem he said he was gonna send me a link to clear the um you know the brokerage fee and all of that so i got the link i didn't really you know ask what the brokerage fee was really um i think he said it was all about handling and you know it's more like a service charge from what he explained so i said no problem and when he sent me the link i clicked on the link and i found out that i was going to pay 19 dollars for the brokerage fee on each each of my package and I paid all of that. I cleared all of that. And the next day, my package came. Then the problem began. Only three bags came when my package came. Because it was four boxes that we sent through. But only three came through the post. And I'm like, what is going on? So <laughs> the next thing that I did was I took the well bill number for that particular package that i you know that i couldn't find and um, I, I had to ask them that i sent through three packages why and four packages why is it that i'm only getting three in return so she said that i can track it and then see what's happening with the package when i tracked my package you would not believe that my box was left in the uk <laughs> oh my god i wanted to go crazy like what how could you leave my bag in the UK? I can't, you know, imagine because I specifically asked when I went to send the package that, are you sure that everything was going to come in at the same time? The guy assured me, the guy said, oh yes, everything is going to come at the same time. You get it in two days and all of that and all of that, blah, blah, blah. So I got an immediately, I think the next morning, I got an, I got an SMS saying that i should please call this number because my shipment is you know they couldn't find any web bill number they couldn't find any receipt they couldn't find anything that i paid so apparently i think when they were sending the box um probably the web bill number and all the receipt they had kept on the box had been taken off probably my mistake or something so that you know that left the box in the uk so what i did was I kept all the receipt that I got earlier when I went to send. I sent it back to the guy that I spoke to on the phone. The guy said to make sure to put personal effect, personal goods. So it's not going to be cleared as, um, you know, a basic private export or something. I don't know what that means. But I think it meant that something that was, it's better for me to state that it was something that was for personal use, which I did. And the guy said, no problem. So when I tracked it the next day, I saw that they had already processed it from Ethro to come to Canada, which was good. I felt like, okay, fine. I'm going to receive my package in a day or two. And then the issue of shipment on old happened with this last box again. And then here is where the problem started. When I checked how much I was going to pay for this particular box that they had left in the uk it was telling me that i was going to pay hundred dollars i'm like hundred dollars for what <laughs> i can't believe this so i was a bit angry i was you know i i you left my box in the uk and then you're telling me to pay hundred dollars so i called again i called the telephone number that i had spoken to earlier and the guy informed me that um there's nothing I can do, actually. I'm open to two options. It's either I don't get the package, I go back to CBSA to clear the package, or I pay the sum and claim back, um, you know, as a refund from CBSA because I'd already been cleared. And I'm like, this is not my fault, you know. At that point, I was a little bit stressed, but I just wanted my bag. I just wanted everything complete because I needed the stuff that were inside. So what I did was I proceeded to make the payment 
and when i made the payment i downloaded a form online because there was a form that i could download to claim back from cbsa i downloaded the form online and i printed i filled out the form i explained the whole situation um inside and i sent the form to the nearest um cbsa office so that's just my you know <laughs> my issue with sending my stuff to dhl i think that it was a really bittersweet experience because you know, I felt like this was a good option for me. And the stress that I went through, the stress that I went through sending the stuff and all of that was just not it. I got my I got my password in like a week, but it still doesn't remove the fact that I had to, you know, pay some money and all of that. So, my advice, if you are going to be sending your stuff through DHL, if you're probably in the UK or any part of the world, or if you're going to be using any, you know, any type of courier service or FedEx, UPS and all of that, just make sure you, you know, you get the confirmation that they are going to be sending everything at once at the same time. And it's not going to be one package left and one package, you know, in Canada. The other thing is that uh, if you know that you're not going to, you know, you're not prepared to pay any money or you don't want to, you know, it's better to clear yourself, go to the CBS, CBSA office when the package comes clear yourself and then um, you know get the necessary documents that are required in all i'm happy i hope that my refund comes in soon because i need my money i hope that my refund comes in soon and um I get my money back all right so that's it for today thank you so 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 much for watching um like i said if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel please like and please interact with me in the comment section so that's it guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you back in my next video bye